Whoops, there we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I'm back, I hope you have all been well. So I got back a couple days ago from my off-island vacation. I don't know if you guys remember, I did talk about it in other videos that I had a vacation coming up, but I did not want to announce it, right? I'm not one to announce when my house is gonna be empty, you know, that leaves you vulnerable, of course, to things that can happen, and I don't wanna announce my every move on social media, but I am back, and I will be filming again soon. I've just been enjoying this break. It's very relaxing and in a way detoxifying and I'm having my second cup of coffee right now so I wanted to take this minute and just talk to you guys a little bit and catch up on some issues that are going on and what I've been seeing on YouTube and if you notice I don't talk about other channels anymore in my videos. I used to constantly be recommending the people that I'm watching and channels that share certain informations and where to go for what and what. But I don't do that anymore. And part of the problem is, number one, of course, I don't know where the offline attacks come from, right? I don't. And it could be anyone. And from what I see when people get too close, with other channels, it doesn't end well. It usually doesn't end well. And it's a very public ending, right? So it'll be broadcasted, everybody will be dragged, everybody's personal things get put out there. And it's, it's just, it gets really ugly. And I don't feel like being a part of that with anybody. It's not that I don't like and support the same channels that I always have, I do. But I just keep my distance, right? It's just a safety precaution and something that I've seen since being away and not posting videos and being on YouTube 24 seven is that the attackers do attack when you don't post. And I've seen a lot of creators say this and <clears throat> in this last couple weeks, I've seen it from my own eyes. So when you do post videos, they're silent, they're quiet. And then when you don't post, all of a sudden it starts up and they freaking go and they go full blast and whatever, you know, it's victimology in a way. If you understand victimology, then you understand why. So in a roundabout way, they want you to post, right? I did have one person that commented something like I'm delusional and I am far from delusional. I know the definition of delusional. You should go and look it up. Uh, I'm quite the opposite. I'm frank. I'm realistic. I use common sense and logic. And yeah, if the problem lies in the fact that what I say offends you, and I don't think you understand that I don't fucking care. I don't care if what I say offends you. I don't care if you disagree with my opinions. Another commenter said, why do I pick apart these videos? Why do I say the things I say? Why do I pick apart everything someone says or does? And here's my short answer, and that is because I can, right? Why not? I can do whatever I want. What makes you think you're gonna come here and stop me? That's the funny thing. That is the real question. What makes you think you're so powerful that you are going to come here and stop me from saying what I think? You know, and then the long answer, you know, as far as the Watts case goes, is that never before in a case of this magnitude did we have a closed, unsolved case with this much family footage for us to analyze and dissect. And then through dissecting this footage, we're able to call out, 
and identify different levels and different types of abuse. And through that, we're able to bring awareness and hopefully prevent further abuse from happening. And maybe you don't like my delivery. And again, I don't care, right? You think your freaking <laughs> what you think your opinion is that important, right? You're entitled to your opinion while you're here. I've said that I'm fair. No matter where you stand on the case, whether it's left, right, in the middle, outer space, I don't fucking give a damn. But I am not the subject matter. So if you attack me, then all I have to do is block you and you're no longer going to be part of the conversation. Do I believe that through healthy conversation and discussion, change can be made? Yes. And that's why I allow all opinions. And I'll continue to. But I won't allow people to be ugly toward me. That would be stupid, right? What am I here for? I'm not your whipping boy. Jesus. Go find someone else. You know, it's ridiculous, really. Will I continue to do what I do? Sure. It's fun. Everyone, there is people, there are people that enjoy it. And I tried the very polite delivery. I tried to be cautious and be gentle because, you know, these, these people are involved in a case and yada, yada, yada. I tried that, right? Don't forget I did. And my real life got attacked. So now you get this side. Now you get this side of me, right? And that's what I have to do. What I have to do is have a thicker skin because I'm not going to just go cry in a fucking corner, right? Like I said, you come for me, I come for your girl. Simple as that. Simple. Simple fucking math. For people that think that SW is some kind of is some kind of genius and, and smart and was able to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing out there, but people are starting to give SW way too much credit. Go back and watch my videos. The bitch can barely say a fucking sentence. She can barely string two words along, okay? She needed handlers. She needed help with her kids. She couldn't manage. She was not smart at all her mind was that of maybe a 50 a 14 or a 15 year olds and even that it was weak i believe perhaps that something did happen when she was in high school and that it could have been a pregnancy and then she was forced to give her babies up for adoption that stunted her growth and she was stuck as a 14 or 15 year old And I can continue to say whatever I want, whenever I want. And the reason I haven't posted since I've been back is because first and foremost, I am a mother, I am a wife, and I have a duty to be the best mother and wife that I can be to the people around me. And when they need me, yes, I am an empty nester, but just today my son literally flew out for boot camp. I have my stepson and his friend are staying here. I have kids that are coming in next month to visit and stay with us for a while. You know what I mean? Together we have the Brady Bunch. We have seven kids together, you guys. So it gets busy and it will get busier. There are times when there's nothing much for us to do, you know, and we are empty nesting. But when the kids need us, they are always the priority. We always put kids first. And so, yeah, definitely been enjoying just this breather. It's been a breather. It's been nice. And 
when I do go online and check, I hardly watch anybody that covers the Watts case because everything, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but people are making things so much more about them instead of the case. There's so much infighting and I don't know what's real and what's not. And I'll say it again, I do still like and agree with the same YouTubers that I used to mention. Okay? Nothing's changed there. I'm just saying, something weird is going on. So, what do I do? I watch other channels, you know? I've not been watching too much Watts stuff. And at the same time, that makes me more original when I do film. And do I care that, you know, everybody is so worried about people stealing what they said or people stealing what they figured out about the case and people stealing this and that and this and I'm not talking about people in particular because really everyone is saying that and doing that really everyone does it right when it comes to the case I don't I don't care I just say whatever and I've never expected people I've always given credit where credit was due like I said I have always mentioned the channels that you know brought certain things to light, made certain discoveries. So I'm not part of these people that are biting ideas and this and that. I pride myself on originality, okay? But I also don't have an influence, right? When I do do my videos, when I do do my videos, they're 100% authentic, my real reactions, my real thoughts and opinions and so I don't edit my videos. That's another thing. So for people that don't at least have respect for me in, in that regard, I literally put out video footage without editing. It doesn't get much more authentic than that, right? Those are my on the spot opinions. You have to at least respect that. If you don't go elsewhere because this is not an echo chamber. This is not a safe space, okay? And I don't have to give a damn, and nobody here has to give a damn about your feelings. That's not the group of people that come to this channel. That's not who we are. There are people out there that I support that I don't agree with 100%, and there are people that do the same vice versa for me. They don't agree with everything I say, yet I have the right to say it and they respect the fact that I do. Before I started my channel, people did pretend there were invisible eggshells, okay? Of certain things that we could say and certain places we could go and certain subjects that were untouchable. Yada, da, 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 da. Yes, there were. And I don't care that people don't mention my name. I don't. And say, wow, you know, this person actually just said it like it is. I don't care. I'm not here for recognition. I'm not. I'm just telling my feelings about SW All In With Ari. I would like to get to some family bloggers. I do cover the trans topic, the trans attack on our children in the US. It's a very important. Yes, it is. You know, I've, I've had commenters come and say, oh, you know, how dare you say that SW was chopping Bella's hair off? What do you mean? That's like so old. That's so old news, right? It's a fact. There's, li there's literal, blah, blah, blah. there's literal video footage. There's literal photos of it. There's, we have posts SW wrote herself, right? And that's what angers you guys the most, is that you can't argue, right, the attackers, you can't argue facts of the case to win your opinion, right? You can't. So you attack. So you do the third grade thing and start name calling. State your case, go ahead. Like I said, I'll hear it. I'll talk to you. I think it's healthy conversation. 
is the way, it is the key to change. It is the key to enlightenment. It is the key to growth. And so this is the place for it. But like I said, and that's a big but, okay? I am not the fucking subject matter. I am not for, here for you to pick apart. I did not do what SW did, right? I did not do what Ari did. As far as far as far as, as far as Ari goes, the bitch canceled herself. She's digging herself deeper and deeper and deeper. With every single video that she puts out, she cancels herself more and more. She exposes the true person that she really is deep down underneath that she tries to hide, right? Behind her freaking car curtains. <clears throat> so these child abusers, do they deserve, do they deserve to be glorified and loved and embraced and idolized? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Lucky you if you were never a victim of child abuse or any sort of abuse, right? Lucky you. You escaped childhood without it, without those damages, without being broken, without being left maimed, basically. But for the people that have experienced child abuse and child neglect and other types of abuse, how do you think they feel?